It's good you don't hang out with you those guys. You know what's crazy too just is like, great. this is just an exact representation of Jeffrey. And what sucks is like Jeffrey will always be successful and he'll always keep going. And he's like an actual bad person. Like he's an actual bad person. And it's evident by these people. Like it comes out in them. And I'm just like, God, it sucks. And not to whatever. I don't want to throw him under the bus. But that's why when I saw like Shane and Jeffrey or Ryan promoting Jeffrey, like as if he's a god on this podcast like a week ago, I was like, this is an evil person. And what they said to me is like, yeah, we have to slowly distance ourselves and all this stuff like that. And they're like promoting him still. Like, and and so I don't think like cancel Jeffrey because he told me to jump off a bridge or like told me like I had bad skin, but it's like Shane, my best friend should at least maybe not associate with him publicly. Like if you need to get that check from your palate, fine, but to fucking like it not not only that but he would encourage me to not make videos about jeffrey don't make videos about jeffrey and all this shit and i was just like i just had enough and then when he said on this one let's just like move past this and pretend like it didn't happen when something like he knew this triggered me back then it triggers me now it's like literally so traumatizing like seeing this i was like this is fucked up because you know what they probably would be happy if i killed myself jeffrey is that person who would be like haha dumb bitch died like that's literally how he is and it's like and i think about that and it's just like it's fucked up so when you came back, you told so you came back and you said, "Hey, yo, Jeffrey did all this stuff," and how yeah. did he respond? Well, at the time, he was like, "What?" Like he goes, "Oh my god, this is like scary." And like it happened a couple times. He would say this. He's like, "This is like scary. Like, what do we do?" He's like the mean girl. He's like a villain in this movie. Mm. And like, I I don't know how we get away from him. Like that's mm. how Shane was saying. And I was like, "Yeah." This is after the palette thing or before? This is way after the palette thing. Oh, is 2018. Oh, okay. This is 2019. Okay. So this is after. But he's still getting money from the palette. You know, obviously Shane's not making videos, so he's collecting money from the palette, whatever. And I, I, I understood that to a certain degree. And I've actually never even asked him to not be friends with him. But he and his words were like, "We're gonna like distance ourselves or whatever." Hmm. so to hear fast forward to now like jeffrey was the only one that was loyal to me like i have to stick by him through all this and i was just like what like so he knew all this stuff and then his excuse which like set me over the edge and why i was just like i i've defended him so hard which is the only reason i made the video really was just to be like i can't defend this person anymore and that's why i made it because i i people hate me for defending him blindly and so i just said i don't defend this person because he's like i just didn't want to like the quote was i just didn't want to believe what you said was true about jeffrey and i was like <laughs> like as someone who like knows me so well of 12 years you've met jeffrey three years ago he needed you for redemption because he had all these horrible things against jeffrey said he was gonna throw acid on an n-word's face like he has the worst shit he needed the shane's fuck? redemption yeah and so he clung to shane because shane was saving everybody jeff tana after tana con jake paul so jeffrey needed shane shane probably wanted jeffrey for that cash palette and so they have this fake ass friendship of three years i've known shane 12 years never once asked him for anything a collab nothing i don't care like nothing and so it's like how are you not gonna to believe me of 12 years it was fucking insane and i'm like this this is insane this is insane like any other time so wait now that so back then he admitted to saying he didn't he didn't believe you so now yeah. that the hair by jay made this video which pretty much confirms everything you said to him then have you talked to shane about it so he he texted me after all this after all well actually he didn't even text me after the jay video he only texted me when i started talking about him mm -hmm. and so I, then he was like do you want to just like come over and like forget this all happened and i was like no i like don't <laughs> like and i kept saying like you know let's he talk said, about this forget later. all this happened that, that was probably annoying well yeah that was the first thing i was like we need to talk about this later like i can't talk to you right now this is so crazy but then other things like along the line of just um, I thought you and Jeffrey could work it out and that was selfish of me and just like uh, I'm working on this in therapy which is the exact same thing Jeffrey said to me which was bullshit he's like I'm working on this through therapy and then two months later telling Oscar that I'm on drugs again and that like I balled a rules race to be him and that I'm pathetic and all this crazy shit and I was like it like all that shit and I was just like these it, it's just like a manipulative and I felt really grossed out by it it was like the same thing when he told me don't make videos about Jeffrey or something like that and I was just like this is some fucked up shit Shane told you don't make videos about Jeffrey he said like you know it's better to just like not say anything right now because he's like this villain and like well well like that's what he said why because he felt bad for him he's saying what does he mean he's this villain? Originally, he didn't want me to get caught up in it. And then then, then he can testify, like, in oh, he December. Was, he was trying to protect you. To yeah. Oh. And then in December, he's like, Jeffrey's really lonely, and he has, like, no friends right now, and, like, trying to make me feel bad. And that's when I started, like, I'm like maybe, even on our steamies, I was like, I kind of feel bad for Jeffrey now. I kind of was 2000, 2021, Trisha was ready to be Team Jeffrey. <laughs> I really was like I was like you know maybe because I don't have a lot of friends and I'm like well if Shane vouches for him then he must be okay you know that was my reasoning <laughs> but I was like no and I still like couldn't shake it around and then when I saw this I was like okay shit really hit the fan so wait but, when did Shane tell you that he didn't want to believe it Saturday and then did he say okay but it was that him admitting that he believes you now like no he's just like I never heard Jeffrey say anything bad so I couldn't believe what you were saying gross yeah and but that's when I blocked his number because I was just like
Like then I was like, holy shit. Like, you've known me 12 years. Like I've never, I've never lied to Shane. He knows every single thing about me. Like, um, yeah. <laughs> that sucks. I mean, I've heard sh- he, Well, like, I just yeah. feel bad because I know Shane was like, I know you love Shane and you, I mean, I know he's like your best friend and I don't know. I know that your, his relationship to you was really important, so I felt really bad. He never offered any resolution either because we were, like, driving down to Anaheim, so we were texting back and forth, and, like, there was no resolution. Like, there was nothing just like, oh, let's just, like, forget about this, and I'm going through therapy, and I can't lose you, and Jeffrey was loyal to me, so I got to stay loyal to him, like, all this stuff. There was no... I, as you know, when you guys asked me to be on H3 Live Friday, the first thing I said was like, I don't want to be associated with Angela Wallace because he made a hate video on Shane. Like, that's how loyal I am. Like, if someone just makes a video about him, I don't want association, much less this is a person that, like, was like literally like I was like suicidal over and he knew about this and he's like promoting him and like defending him and being and like publicly having him on the podcast for views for <laughs> your shitty podcast to have 300,000 views you couldn't delete the last one with fucking Jeffrey talking about Kanye and how it's an imaginary dick sucking thing like it was just so fucking stupid I was like take the dumb I told him the podcast thing was a big issue for me a lot take the fucking dumb podcast down it has three it had 200,000 views at the time that was so triggering to me and I kept saying that and he just kept brushing by I reread these text messages like a thousands of time in my head before I decided to find be like fuck this like it was crazy i was i was so i was and it wasn't a manic episode because the next day i woke up i said i don't even feel bad like i felt like it did the right thing it felt like a weight off my shoulder like i was i'm so done of like defending him jeffrey never he's like he was loyal to me uh, jeffrey never defended. in fact not only did jeffrey not defend you shane but oscar wilde well i can say this again because he he told me i could say his name he's a dj and he was there with jeffrey on the trip and he was there in july or in june when shane was getting canceled jeffrey said oh how do i cut ties with him he's like ruining my brand Ew. so he also talked shit about you <laughs> what a he fuck. talks shit about everybody i totally believe that he would say that i know he does because i've heard this from other like multiple people like it's just you know what i mean it's just so it's so gross it's so gross to me and i just i <laughs> It just sucks because, like, there's nothing you can do. And not that I'm, like, trying. I honestly, honestly don't think anyone should be canceled except for Jay because, like, also he docks me. Like, what the fuck? You should be working with anybody. But, like, and I don't say, like, cancel Jeffrey. He's he's a he's a bad – he's an evil person. He's a mean person. But support him if you want. I don't give a shit. Like, pay over – pay for that shit. I don't – it just sucks because he'll always win. He'll always win. Like, he's just going to keep winning in life. And I don't know. Like, it just sucks. It just sucks because he's just, like, not a good person. But – and I don't know. Like, for me, this was, like – I don't know. I don't know. I was shocked. That was not you the were, I knew. You know what's crazy is you were the only person left on the earth defending Shane. And we were even... I, dude, you even got me supporting Shane. <laughs> I was like, this is a sh- pro-Shane podcast. Yeah. But then, it's funny, D'Angelo flipped me a little bit. Right, right, right. Yeah, you did get flipped. And, and I was still like, you But know I what? was still holding out out of respect for you. I'm not going to go out there and say I hate Shane Dawson. I don't think But so I'm just either. saying, he really... He really... He really... Sh- need to respect the, like what you how much you support him it's crazy it's so crazy because you, you know what you He's support him so much never publicly defend me not that i've ever asked that but the other thing was is he was like well the internet just gives me so much anxiety it's like you defended tana from TanaCon. you defended jeffrey mm. from saying racist shit i mean you couldn't once say yeah trisha opened up to me about like gender identity issues like never once did he mm. ever come to my defense for anything and it's like i don't expect that i didn't oh. even expect it with this situation it would but, be nice because everybody's shitting on you and you he knows that you have this genuine problem yeah and well, the other, and he doesn't want to stick his neck the out la- the, the least he could have done was you know like take down the pot because i brought up this podcast this stupid one the sip or whatever that was like i'm like you know you having jeffrey on there and like gushing over him like he's a fucking god like when you know he's an awful person he's vile you like, told me he's told you that he thinks he's vile yeah and then he then see him on the podcast and i the least he could have done is like you know what let's just delete that podcast it's still up it's like i don't expect you to defriend him he's that's your cash cow that's where you're getting your money still from the palette or whatever but it's like it's just like there's nothing. He never once offered any like res. I, I don't I don't trust it. And you know what? Not to bring it all the way back, but I've always heard like Gabby Hanna had told, said that she that he was the one that told her I had herpes. That's crazy. So she, so the rumor is that. Well, that's what she said. Told you it's not really yeah, a rumor. Yeah, Dustin Day, like anyone could verif- t- verify that. So why would Shane tell her that? You because know- they were really close at the time that I was like in the whatever David's friend group and whatever, and him and Gabby were close. And I and and like so you. I've heard it from other people, and I'll just say that like other YouTubers that were mutual friends of us so- also said Shane talked shit about me, and I never wanted to believe Ugh. it. There was even on our podcast. I think I said it on our podcast that I like didn't believe it. I was like I just didn't believe it because Shane is not that person. But bro, then- what kind of fucking f- friends, bro? These are bad friends. To even make up, because it's such a weird thing to make up. Like it's just sad that your friend is talking shit about you. Like, how old are we? We're fucking adults. Like, we're, our friends are supposed to talk shit behind our back. Like, who are these people? I don't know. I I was shocked because this is never how he's like handled any situation. I wasn't even expecting to hear from him. But 
like the initial J video, which was the traumatizing thing, was where I expected him to call me. Not after I mentioned his name. It's like once he got involved, then I was like, oh, I better call right. and check on Trish. Because that Friday is when I was like hyperventilating. He didn't right. call me till Saturday. And it was only because I started like mentioning him and Rylan. And I, because people were, people were calling it out. And I, look, I don't go by comments. Like people are like, oh, like they defend Like I don't go by that. I go by what I see, which is him last year telling me Jeffrey's a villain. We're trying to distance ourselves from him like slowly to... Je Jeffrey was so loyal to me and like we're gonna like promote him on this podcast and he was the only one to stick by me I was like fuck that shit he didn't and you're stupid and he talks shit about you it's crazy because everybody on the internet now hates Shane and you stick your fucking neck out him for him big time every, yeah. at every chance people like that's the association people had with me was like and you genuinely disgusting. rubbed off on me I was like yeah maybe Shane's not a, not a bad dude because I do believe he changed from that yeah. like I said that's not the person I know I won't even go back on that like that's not the person I know I've never heard him make those comments if he, if it's true, what he was saying, that's so a whole other issue. I don't this, know, but is this an anti shame? This is a, now turned into an anti shame no. pro James Charles podcast. Last year it was pro anti James Charles pro Shane, and now it's wait, we're pro James because you said last episode that you're ready for 2021. Trisha's ready for James. You don't remember? No, <laughs> I did not. <laughs> you literally did. You said you wanted to collab with James Charles. Roll the tape. <laughs> No, I don't think so, but... You literally I did. never would say that. Ah, Dan, I? am I crazy? I just remember saying about Jeffrey. Yeah, I think... No, she said James Charles, and I said, what the fuck? Moses is not a guess. I don't remember. Bro, come on. Who's... An A, B, and Moses are not a guess. You know, I hope he just wakes up and sees, because I honestly... Again, I know I... People don't lazy. change at this age. Maybe they do, but it takes well, a Well, they obviously do. Changes change right before my eyes. This was never the Shane I knew, and at the... Maybe at, he didn't change. Maybe you just got to... Maybe you just saw it. No, because he was always so, maybe, I don't know. But then all of a sudden to be this person, told, I'm like. You told people you have herpes like a while ago. It's so crazy. That was so nuts. I was like, because where, where, why would Gabby just make that up out of this? It's just a weird thing to make up. I don't know. Well, like, she, sh yeah, I mean. And also like, okay, what if I had herpes? Like who fucking cares? Like you live with it. There's fucking medications. Like it can be yeah, but undetectable. He, but you like, don't. I don't have it, which is like the biggest thing, which was the thing. But now it's coming from Shane. Shane has herpes. You heard it here. Stop it. You heard it right here, right now. Shane Dawson Doesn't has it. herpes. I just hope he wakes up because to me, and I told him this, it felt really evil. <laughs> like it felt, and I, I'm not trying to be like a Bible thumper, but I told him this because I mean, I do, and he believes in God. I'm like, it feels like you really made a deal with the devil that you are backing him. Probably like a really good deal though. He probably made a lot of I'm, fucking money. He's that's like, the other thing. He's like, look, I made a deal with the devil, but the devil made no. good. Jeffrey lied about how much the palette would make on camera. He even told me it did not make as much as they say. He just makes shit up. Wait, Jeffrey over? Yeah, how he much? tells people For he makes real? more. Yeah, he is rich though. No doubt. I'm not. I'm not doubting that. He lied about how much the palette made. Do you have any other juice you want to dish out now that you're enemies with them all? I'm not enemies. I really hope <laughs> Shane wakes up and like honestly like. Like I said, I don't want to cancel these people. Like, for me, I've defended them so long that I just want to be not associated with them anymore because this is, like, really gross behavior. And I should have spoke up about Jeffrey Sooner when Tab made the video. Tab was the original one. And I said to him I was scared. I was like, I should, but I should have spoke up because it's not – you can't, like, treat people like shit. Like, you can't do this shit. I don't know. It's not the It's not the end of the world. You know, there's uh, there's bigger allegations against Jeffree Star. And I was just like, you know, those are more serious But I do this. think this is a really good insight that this guy who's just in the satellite – surrounding Jeffrey thinks he needs to be this nasty to you to win Jeffrey's approval. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's so it was like, so odd. It just goes to show, bro, fuck that guy. It is so weird, but I I don't Jeffrey, you heard it here. I Ethan Klein here now on the H Street podcast and make proclaiming this. Fuck Jeffrey Star. Okay. That's on you. I'm not saying that. I said me, Ethan Klein, and in association with Trisha Paytas. <laughs> Stop it. This is a co statement I being know. made by both of us. I don't hate him. I honestly, I hope he finds happiness because I actually do think he's really miserable and I think that's his hell is that he has to live <laughs> as himself and I think that's worse, but I, I hope he's happy. And also Shane, like Shane's super talented. I think he's going to have like a nice comeback and I hope he does. I don't want any of these people canceled forever. I don't.